Hello, it's Ralph Hempel from EV3Dev.org. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up USB networking between your EV3 brick and your Linux, Windows, or OS X computer. We'll start with the default Brickman screen. Scroll down to the Wireless and Networks entry and choose it. From there, scroll down to the USB screen and choose that. You'll see that USB networking is turned off by default. You'll need to choose the correct USB networking for your host computer. If you're connecting to a Windows machine, choose RNDIS. If you have a Linux or Mac computer, choose CDC. Now you can jump back out to the wireless and network screen. Scroll down to and choose the All Network Connections line. Plug the USB cable that's connected to your computer into the EV3. In a few seconds, you'll see that the wired connection becomes active. Scroll down to and select the wired connection line. Make sure the IPv4 tab is highlighted, then select it. Finally, scroll down to and select the change button. You'll see the default address on this screen is 10.42.0.3. Those are the Linux USB networking defaults. You can choose the Windows default address or the Mac default address by simply scrolling down and selecting. If you'd like to connect more than one EV3 to your computer at a time, just make sure each one has its own IP address by using the Enter Custom Values menu. Now it's time to show you that no matter what kind of computer you use, you connect to the EV3 using your computer's SSH capabilities. Connecting your Linux box to the EV3 is as simple as setting the IP address of your local USB 0 interface and then opening up an SSH session to your EV3. Once you've plugged the EV3 into your Mac, you'll need to configure the CDC Composite gadget. Make sure you set the address manually and set it to an address that is different than the one on the EV3. I use .2.1. Once the gadget is connected, you can just SSH right onto the brick using the terminal. Making a new connection on Windows is almost the same. Once you plug the EV3 in, a new network adapter will appear. You'll need to manually configure the IPv4 settings and set the address manually. I use .137.1. You may have already downloaded a program called PuTTY. It has an SSH shell in it. You need to configure the address of the EV3 you want to connect to, and from there you've got an SSH shell right onto the brick. Once you've connected using SSH, you can configure Wi-Fi or Bluetooth networking to make it much easier to connect to your EV3 in the future. Remember, you've always got the USB cable as a backdoor to connect to the EV3.